Hello everyone, Fatima here. Today I'm going to demonstrate the inferior alveolar nerve block. Okay, this is the most common nerve block that we give in dentistry. This is, I'm skipping the theoretical part, so this is just a quick demonstration. So first we ask the patient to open the mouth wide and we palpate the coronoid notch. Okay, it's like a C-shaped bone you feel and just place, you can see here I have a drawn it okay and you can keep the hand in the center now you can see the pterygo mandibular raphe i have marked it with the arrow or yellow line just beside it you have to insert you will see a depression okay so go insert in that dot and you see it, that your hand or needle should be perpendicular to the or it should bisect the fingernail or thumbnail Okay, you can see it should bisect your thumbnail and just beside the pterygomandibular raphe you should insert it inside the depression you will see you'll also feel or you'll have to visualize a inverted triangle just beside the pterygomandibular raphe and just insert your needle in the center of the depression all you have to do is just keep in mind that you keep the needle at the corner of the mouth you see here if you approach it from the bicuspids or from the angle of the mouth, it will get really easier for you to inject, okay? So you are halfway through. If you keep the needle or syringe at the angle of the mouth and you see this raffe and a depression there, okay? So just keep in mind that you take your needle from the angle of the mouth beside the pterygomandibular raffe and make sure that your needle is at the level of thumb or bisecting it. And uh, yeah, you are done. Thank you.